Christy from Stay With It, and welcome to That's Engineering. I'm sitting here today with Tavish Ledesma. He's on Intel's U.S. College recruiting team as a campus relations manager. So Tavish recruits engineers, but you are also an engineer yourself, right? I am. So can you tell us a little bit about um, what you studied in engineering school, you know, what you did when you got out of engineering school, and how that sort of got you to where you are now? Sure, absolutely. You know, my relationship with Intel started when I was in high school. I was fortunate enough to get an Intel scholarship. I was really into programming in high school, and that's how I got first interested in software development as a career. So I studied software engineering at Oregon Tech. I got my bachelor's degree there and I joined Intel as a fresh college graduate uh, software developer in 2004. Cool. So how did you make the leap from being an engineer um, to going into sort of college recruiting and college relations? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, I wanted to be in a role where I could really help people. and. Uh, you know, in a software development role, sometimes it's difficult to see uh, the fruits of your labor. You know, you're working on software and it just goes out there. And I wanted to be somewhere where I could really see, you know, the, the smiles on students' faces, the, the actual people who I was helping. Uh, and, you know, fortunately this opportunity came up with the company to do so. So what are the kinds of things that you do in your, in your role as a relations manager? Yeah, so I spend a lot of time out on college campuses. Uh, so I sp spend time working your traditional kind of career fair, but also you know, putting on special talks to just get students uh, excited about the company, uh, giving them a little bit more insight into what we have in store here at Intel. Uh, and then also talking about what are some tips? You know, how do you really land that first internship? Mm -hmm. How do you really prepare yourself for a full-time position, for a career in engineering? Uh, and really any opportunity to help students out there navigate those waters and hopefully land that first job. So I know in your free time, uh, you're interested in rapping. So can you tell a little bit how, how you got into that? Who told you that? <laughs> I can't tell my sources. <laughs> um, so how did you get into that, and, and how have you been able to sort of incorporate that into what you do in the workplace? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I started rapping in college uh, in my dorm room. And I wrote a rap back then about, you know, a computer game at the time. And uh, that's how I first got into it, you know. And it's kind of, it's been a side hobby for me um, up until a, about a couple months ago. Uh, and I wrote a custom Intel rap. And really the goal is to just get people excited about Intel, get our employees excited about Intel. It's something I go out and perform on campus. Uh, I was at a great event last week performing uh, for a, a couple thousand Intel employees. And uh, you know, it's just a fun, it's at a company like Intel, you really have an opportunity to uh, take whatever it is you're passionate about and turn that into something tangible, into a potential career. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just, you know, something on the side that I think is a great way to get people excited. Cool. Yeah. So do you have any tips for engineers who are looking for that next job since you've yeah. been sort of looking at yeah. it from both ways as yeah. an engineer yourself looking for mm -hmm. a job and as somebody who's looking for that next top talent? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, I speak with hundreds of students across the country, thousands even, um, you know, when I'm out on campus. and. What I let students know is, first and foremost, of course, you have to have that uh, capability in whatever technical field that you're in. So, you know, of course, your academic uh, abilities come first. Above and beyond that, it's really, it, it, it all comes down to communication. It, it really does and how you present yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go to a career fair and speak to 300 students over the course of a day. And really, at the end of that day, maybe three or four students will stick out in my mind as those who really uh, shone, is that a word? <laughs> shined? I don't think shined is a word, but who really stood out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's those students who, who, who present themselves well, who are articulate and, and smile and are excited about what they do. Mm -hmm. So let that passion show through, you know, let that, uh, let that excitement for whatever it is you're, you're focused or working on show through and that's what sticks with people, with recruiters. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story and your insights with the Stay With It community. And uh, I'll see you next time on That's Engineering.